Here we have a 1953 General Electric 25J2 furnace. Gas fired warm air furnace. It's planning on going in that corner over there in this building. It should heat it up in a matter of seconds. I probably don't need to use all four of the burners. Two would probably be just fine. One of my friends gave this to me because it was just getting too old and he didn't want to fool with it. It didn't have any controls on it. All the wiring was messed up. And the um, blower wheel, before it kicks on, the furnace has to heat up. There's a biometallic strip right there. With a micro switch on the other side that turns the blower motor on. Originally, the way it was wired was blower motor straight through that switch, but I didn't like that idea, having all the amps from that motor going through that switch. So I wanted to make it last longer. So I used this little relay here to um, run the motor through. Let's pull the coil in with 24 volts off of this transformer. This is my thermostat for now. This is the little rotary switch. And I redid these wires in here, they're all new. I need to get longer ones. This is still original, I need to replace, but it's only 24 volts, so not really that critical. I believe I'm gonna need a new gas valve just because it looks like somebody crimped it right here and it's just kinda of loose in there. That's the flame sensor. And somebody's bypassed the um, pilot switch, which isn't a very good idea. I don't know if it failed or the pilot just wouldn't stay lit or something, but I didn't use it because I'm not, I don't have gas hooked up to it, but if I ever have gas hooked up to it, I'll hook it back up. Never had a motor on it. I don't know what motor it had. This is a half horsepower Century. I had to make a little bracket there for it. The belt that came with it fits nice and tight. I had to use capacitor here. It was mounted here, but it was too far, it hit the cover. So I put this little terminal strip and strain relief on this cable. Drilled a hole in the end of that and ran the capacitor on here. Power to the motor, going up and out the relay. So it's fired up. Or not fired up, uh, power the blower motor up. There's the gas valve clicking. That's working. So when I push this thermal biometallic strip in, it should start up. it doesn't have a draft inducer motor like these old furnaces it sucks air from inside and takes it and brings it up the pipe just from air pressure so i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching